Hello, in this tutorial I will show you how to create a watercolor stroke using a sketch and tool material. So, let's start. Let's go to primitives. Select figure. Make it editable. Now, let's go to the render settings. Effect, sketch and tune. Let's go to shading and change the object from shading to background. Let's close it for now. Double click in your sketch material to start editing. Let's change the preview to stroke to see what we have. Now let's go to strokes, enable, change the join limit to 100. Let's go to distort, change the displace to 2 and the scale to 900. Pick up the color. Let's go to thickness and turn on a long stroke. Reduce the strength to 50 and the thickness to 25. Turn on screen angle. Delete the points that are right here in the spline. Select the point in the middle and move it up. Increase the size right here. Just like that. Select the first one and decrease the size. Select the last one and move it right there. Change the rotate to 45 and now select noise, change the strength to 40, the scale to 20 and the mapping from line to object. Let's go to opacity and change a long stroke, change the strength to 35, select from line. Let's create three points in this spline by holding down control and click. Select the last point and move it down. Move this point up. Move the first one that we create up. And adjust the one in the middle. Like this. Rotate this, increase it a little bit, same in the other side, move this in the line, and this one in the line too. Change the strength to 75. Turn on noise, and change the strength to 60. Reduce the scale to 50 and change the type to SBM. Now let's hit render and see what we have. And we have all stroke watercolor. Now let's go to the render settings. Let's go to lines, turn off the border, and turn on contour. Let's move it down. These are the settings that you need to play with in conjunction with the thickness to get different results. For this example, I will change the mode to UBW. Change to B, and the steps to 100. And let's hit render. As you can see, we have a different result. Okay, let's go to our sketch and tool material and change the thickness to uh, 15 and hit render. The result is 
different this time. As you can see. Let's change the mode again. Let's get a different result to position and spacing to absolute. Reduce the step to 15 and hit render. Let's reduce the step again. Hit render. And the result has changed. Let's rotate 45 degrees and hit render. The result change again. A little bit more. Okay. Let's double click on the sketch and tool material. Go to render. Inside the render you will see an option call it self blend. You can select different blend modes to get different results. Let's hit render. And we have a different result. Let's change the self blend again and see what we can get. With these settings you can achieve different results. You just need to play with and see what you have.